Hey, grandbabies, welcome to a new vlog. This is Vlogmas number 11. I made it. I'm still making it. Everyone is on number 13, 14, and I am on 11. Y'all bear with your grandmama. She's a little bit behind, but we're going to play catch up before the 25th day. So we came to the Chicago... We came to the Chicago Broody Boutique to get a V sting. It is gorgeous in here, me and my home girl. Yes, y'all, they have the aesthetics for the girls and they get that poom poom right, baby. So if you wanna get that poom poom cleaned, detox, get all the germs out, it take away yeast infection, it help with fibroids, it helps cysts, it help anybody with just toxics of the body bacteria infections come and see the chicago beauty boutique the staff is amazing everybody's cute and on the a game let's go i'll see you guys in the back when i'm starting the beast thing gotta take care of the pom poms girls and guys don't forget to take care of the do not forget to take care of the we take care of our hot pocket you take care of your beefcakes. Hi, thanks for having me. No problem. You come on back. We do have our shopping area in the boutique area for the Vaso Boutique. So definitely do stop by and shop the, the Vaso area as well. But you can step on back a little further and we can get into your business. Thank you. Thanks for having me. You all have some lovely items here. I love the clothing here. I said five in the morning. Check out the uh, check out the Chicago Beauty Boutique. They have the V steam. They offer saunas. They offer. I'm gonna get it after this, girls. I'm getting a bajet, a bajet. What is it called? A bajet. A bajet. I am getting a bajet. I never had it. I don't need a wax because I took care of that already. I wish I would have known. 
But yes, I am been getting a bajay shoe, baby. You gotta get the girl nice, cute, and shiny. Thank you guys. I see you and I tell you all about the beach theme later. And don't forget, it helps with menopause, it helps with hormones, it detoxifies the body, it purifies the body just like you drinking tea for your insides. This do something for your hot pocket. All right, hi guys, how are you? I guess my sister want me to get on here and let you guys know how this beast thing feels. It is wonderful. It is great. It is so relaxing. The music, they even get relaxing music. I have them before, but this place is just so gorgeous. You can't never come into one place and get everything done. I decided if I wanted to go out after the beast thing, I can go to the boutique and find me something to wear. That is just amazing, guys. So what I'm going to tell you about is the wax. The wax is very good after the V steam as well. I had a vajayshu before, it feels so lovely. You'd be like, oh, like you in heaven after all of these um, procedures that are done to your body that you have to take care of. All of the toxic, get all that toxic and negativity out your body. Ladies, you need to come on down here. 3140 West 111th Street. Come check her out. Hey everyone who's seen this video, please do not forget that this video is a disclaimer. We're just telling about what two girlfriends did for their hot pocket. We're not telling you to do it to your hot pocket. We're just letting you know what we've done. And we're not telling you that this cures any diseases. Thank you. Continue to enjoy the video and thank you and please don't forget to like comment and subscribe and in your free time please share this video with someone who you might you and that person might enjoy going and get a beast theme together thank you So welcome to Vlogmas 11. I hope you guys like the how the um Chicago Beauty Boutique looked. It, it, it's so gorgeous in there. She got a boutique. The she's themed. Uh, she got a vagina theme. She got a she have a sauna. She sell scrubs. She sell uh, uh oils for your house. She sell it all. They do lashes in there, massages, waxes. Vajay shows. She do it all. It's a black owned business. She does it all. So if you're in Chicago area, please go stop by the Chicago Beauty Bar. But let me tell y'all about last night when I went to get, get my uh wig, get my hair done, get my wig and style, right? These eyebrows, baby, I don't know. I do no makeup, y'all. <laughs> I'm looking at this eyebrow. It's up there, honey. So when I go in, I ask the um owner for permission. Can I get the aesthetics of her um of her beauty shop and I thank her and um what else then you then um as I'm about to uh it's it was a regular customer and she was just like evil as hell just like some some people out here just mean as hell stuck in their ways and I think she's a regular customer so I don't know if she feel like she have owned the place or what right so she um I, I, I'm the lady said I could you know I could film just not film them and the young lady who was doing my hair didn't mind me filming her. But the regular customer lady, she I want to say she about 60. Oh, uh, I, I, I hope you ain't about to film me. Now, man, you, I'm nowhere near the lady. I'm at the ball getting my hair washed. Here she goes. I hope you ain't about to film me. I said, ma'am, I don't film no one without asking for permission. Like, who does that? Like, who just walk up to somebody with a camera on their face? I don't do that. I don't move like that. I'm very polite. Even if I'm not in my politest, I'm polite. So, uh, and I really, lately, I'm been, I'm just gonna really be vlogging about myself because it's my channel. You know what I'm saying? And then um, I was like, ma'am, I'm sorry if I made you feel uncomfortable, but no, I don't do that. Woo woo, woo. you know, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. She steady saying little stuff like.
miss. First of all, this is not your shop. We both are guests here. It doesn't matter how long you've been here. I know you're regular and everything, but this is not your shop. Then she over there, she's like, oh. I was like, if I offended you anyway, but I'm not going to record you. Uh, I don't even know you. Here she go, oh, I wish you would get this gangster. Tell the owner that. To make the owner feel uncomfortable with me. You know how somebody wants you on their on their bandwagon, like, Say, for instance, you fall out with one of your homegirls. She go call the other homegirl. Now she want to tell her about some stuff y'all to discuss. It wasn't even nothing bad, but now she want to tell her about some stuff y'all to discuss. To get her on the van wagon with her to be upset with you. People be needing a whole group of people to, to march in their parade when they upset with somebody. Miss, me, you just had a... I, you didn't, you didn't want to be filmed. I let you know I'm not about to film you. In a subject. And I apologize if I made you feel any type of uncomfortable because I know you didn't come here to be filmed. You came here to get your hair done. When we usually go get our hair done, we have on the dirtiest clothes, raggediest clothes. I had on my pajamas, so I know how you feel, miss. You get what I'm saying? I know exactly how you feel. So why well, keep going on with it? So um after all that was said and done. So I, um, sometimes we throw around our authority, right? Like, we could be working in some place for a long time, and someone new comes along, and we use our authority or our sen seniority to, like, mishandle somebody. But as I, again, as I left, and before I left, I reassured the lady, like, I apologize again if I made you feel any type of way. She's like, oh, 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 it's, it, oh, 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 it's, it's okay. <laughs> I said, okay, have a blessed day, happy holiday. I don't I don't want the smoke. I don't want none of the smoke. I don't want no 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 nothing. I don't want nothing. I I go through enough in my daily life without that. So we're here. I um we're here. We're about to go into Mod's Pizza and create us a veggie pizza. I got to go back to eating raw vegetables. I told y'all once I start eating these warm vegetables, baby, it's going to be over. So let's, I'm about to get ready to go up in my pizza. And um, and I guess I'll sit in there and eat my veggie pizza. And then I'm going to go um, go home and walk pink and take a, take a nap. Me and my girl, we got something planned for to do tonight. So um, thank you for um, all the new subscribers, all the new subscribers, your grandmama blowing up. I'm about to be known around the world. <laughs> I'm going to step into places people going to notice me. I'm going to love it. I can't wait to meet some of the grandbabies. I can't wait to even just accidentally bump into you guys in Walmart, Burlington Coat Factory, um, Chili's Restaurant. Olive Garden, anywhere, right? I can't wait. Some days you might catch me looking pop. Because when I run around these streets, guys, I be pop. I don't know what I be having on. Have on this with that, mixed with this with that. I be looking like homie the clown. But all right, y'all, let's go in here and make us a pizza. Pizza, pizza. I am not feeling this wig. I think it needs to be flatter. I don't know how to make it flatter. Maybe. I don't know, guys. But, okay. I know complaining over here. You won't break my soul. 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 I'm telling everybody. Everybody. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, 
So, um, what is this? Just the regular pizza sauce? Yeah. Okay. But you better up to the same barbecue sauce. Oh, I never tried it with barbecue sauce. I should try something different. Yeah, give me the barbecue sauce. Yeah, let's go different on different. Mod's Pizza is just like home, like you're making your own pizza at home. So instead of using pizza sauce, I'm trying something new. I'm using barbecue sauce. Wow. Then I'm adding fresh spinach. Mm -hmm. Spinach is very healthy for you. So make sure you add spinach to your pizza. Then I'm going to have some fresh minced garlic. And then I'm gonna add some red hot pepper sauce. Gotta get that thing that spice. Spicy like me. Then I'm adding a whole lot of mozzarella cheese. You gotta keep it cheesy. So when you bite it, the cheese just expands. Add more cheese, please. Slide on over and let's get us some red onions. Chop those things up for me. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Let's add on some mushrooms. I love mushrooms. Did you guys know that mushrooms are really good for you? Plus, they're very tasty on a pizza. Slide them down. And let's get us some chopped up tomatoes. Not just the slice them. We want them a little bit finer than that. Let's add us some olives. I mean, oh, I'm sorry. Let's add the green peppers. Why not throw in some seasonings? Get that thing some taste, some flavor. Mwah! Yes, add on the Italian herbs and everything. Let's go. Wake that pizza up. So she's explained to me what everything is. And I'm adding some, some of the red peppers. Those are not spicy peppers, by the way. Then I added on some yellow corn, and I had to add on some olives. Oh, oh yes, put it in the oven, let's go. I'll just 
I use barbecue sauce instead of pizza sauce. It tastes so good. Try that on y'all pizza, y'all. Hey grandbabies, so guess what I'm finna do? I'm finna um try to drink some celery water for seven days straight. Um, they said it's really, really good for you, and you're gonna see a change in your skin and your diet. So I'm buying two of them today. I'm trying to see if I get more. I got one at home. Is that enough for seven cups? I think that's enough for seven cups. And I was gonna get some more beet juice. I think I did really good with them beets. But I mixed it with some pineapple to give it some flavor. So that's the challenge, dear. We're doing, we are doing beets. And every morning, every night I'm gonna do beet juice. And every morning I'm gonna do celery. But why well, don't see no beets? Look, I don't even know really how they look. Oh, here they go, y'all. Right in my face. Look, look, it still got the garden on, the garden on that mud. <laughs> so, okay, let's get these beats, y'all. So you guys, I'm getting these Oprah's because the uh, the natural healing doctor who I go to, um, Dr. Napoco, she said eat some raw Oprah. They really good for you. And um, the making the celery water every morning cleans you out, detoxes your body. So I'm gonna see could I do it for seven days. I got the beets that I'm gonna drink every night. But I think I need to go grab the pineapple juice. And you said I don't have to put the water up there, right? Okay, can I run right here and get a can of pineapples? Okay, so let's go run and get the pineapples to go with the beets because the beets are real nasty. And I have put pineapples in there. Say hey to my YouTube. <laughs> you cute? <laughs> okay, so yeah. So I put the pineapples in there. So give it some flavor until I get used to guys like gobbling it down. So I got these pineapples. So let's run back because we might be holding up the pretty lady line. And then I'm going to close off um, Vlogmas 11. This is how this vlog ends. And I love you guys. Your hair's too cute. Thank you, babe, for your patience. All righty, here you go. I thought you were